Hello guys, once again, have a nice day to all of you. Welcome back to our channel, Autopix Garage. Now we will um, going back to our engine overhauling part two. We're going to install the piston to our cylinder block of our engine 3A92 1.2 gasoline engine now we will install first our piston ring in our piston so we have the top ring the second ring the side drill upper the spacer and the side drill lower okay now we will install our piston rings to our piston so assuming that this is our piston in the illustration so this is the front I put a mark arrow so that indicates that this is the front of our piston facing the timing chain side okay so this is our piston this is uh, the front this is there's uh, two dots here indicating that this is the front of our piston facing the timing chain side so in the connecting rod this is the front also there's a mark here and our connecting rod cap so if you can see this one this is the uh, facing of our connecting rod cup okay in the other side nothing so this one there's a letter T indicating that this is the front of our connecting rod cup okay now we will install the side rail lower of our whole ring okay so this is the one this is our piston we will in install in this side okay We'll uh, put a marking so that we can easily identify where is the end of end gap of our oil ring. Okay, so this is the end gap of our our oil ring. Then the next is the spacer end gap. So. We will put here the spacer in the spacer in the this is our front and this is the rear of our piston so in this side we will install the spacer in gap okay so like that so the side rail lower of our oil ring in this side and the spacer in gap is here
And the next is side rail, upper end gap, we will install in this side. So, in our piston, the upper, the side rail, upper end gap, this must be here, okay? So, we will install our side rail upper end gap in this portion okay the end gap of our side rail upper end gap is in this side okay in front of our piston okay the next is the number two ring in gap must be here our number two piston ring is darker color than the our top ring okay so the end gap of our number two ring is here in this side there's a marking of our piston ring must be on top okay don't reverse position must be like this on the top portion okay so here our number two ring in the okay so in this side so it must be the number two ring in gap is must be in this side okay then the next one we will install is number one number one ring in gap Okay. So this is our top ring. There is a marking here. It must be on top position. Okay, this is our piston. The ring in gap of number one must be at this side. Okay. The number one ring in gap is in this position, this side. The number two ring in gap is in this position. Then our side reel upper in gap is in this side. The side rail lower end gap is in this side. And our spacer in gap is here. So this is our illustration. So you can follow. This is your reference how to install the piston ring in gap of our 3A92 engine 1.2 liters of Mitsubishi Mirage G4 okay so our number one ring in gap must be this side okay this portion not this arrow okay not this uh, not this size it must be here 
Okay. Now we will now we will install our piston to our cylinder block. Before that, we have to pour a little bit of engine oil to our piston ring so that it can easily move during installation, okay? So like that, together our piston pin, okay? We have piston ring, compressor, special tools we will use to install our piston to our cylinder block, okay? We'll use also a long flat screwdriver Then we will compress the piston ring so that we can easily insert our piston to our cylinder board. Okay? This portion must be in the front of our engine facing the timing chain side. We have to pour a little bit of engine oil of the crank pin. Then we'll install our connecting rod cap very. We will tighten our crimping rod cup bolts. We are using 8mm flower type deep socket, torque rings, and we will apply 27 plus or minus 2 newton meter. plus additional torque 90 degrees we will set to zero our angle torque then we will apply the additional 90 degrees okay we are using power handle zero and we will apply additional 90 degrees okay 90 degrees zero additional 90 degrees okay so that's the final torque of our connecting rod cap bolts Okay. We will install the remaining two pistons and we will uh, apply the specified torque of our connecting rod. So, thank you for watching of our 
video tutorial for the day so i hope you enjoy watching and you learn something regarding engine overhauling thank you and god bless everyone see you in next video tutorial